are watching divine knowledge seeing the light or maybe feeling the light In my previous vlog I touched the subjects of perception from the light seeing the light Now here today I'm going to talk about something that usually people tend to not talk about There are conditions of that light there are a variety of conditions of divine light now the variety varies again as i said in vlog number 3 that uh, on person to person according to the relig- uh, their religion and their belief or faith the reason being for not speaking about what is the light and uh, how it operates what it does what it does to you is that there are cer- certain secrets that this light bears or holds there are a loads of secrets that this light when you see it when you feel it or when it touches you basically you are not allowed to speak it's not because they basically restrict you one feels that who's going to understand it who's going to understand you because you're talking about something that is beyond understanding and from that beyond understanding comes a light here uh basically what i'm about to say is which uh, because my family background is such that uh, we understand till what basically where is the box we know that for sure i know that for sure and i can't be sure about it but i know where it ends but till where i can go and beyond that ijazat nahi dete they do not permit now the light basically it has its own effects it can be absorbed it can be felt it can be seen or maybe only the brightness from it that can be seen only the brightness from the light can be seen i i basically initially in this vlog i said that i will give an example from my own family my grandfather he basically got absorbed by the light the light encapsulated him and he got absorbed when the light absorbs you one becomes crazy because the thing is that his uh, brain or maybe you can call it as his thought process or his perception cannot accept anything what he is seeing then basically when i see this i cannot basically uh, break it down because everything we see in this world hear listen understand or maybe touch feel our five senses we need to break it down and try to bring a sum to it a end to it like this is the phone or maybe this is that somebody is knocking the door or just giving a or driving while driving that if somebody hit the brake lights you need to hit the brake lights these are the things 
when one gets absorbed by the light they lose their senses the senses cannot perceive anything else because they are absorbed somewhere else there will be certain days or maybe certain times or maybe weeks or months years the presence of that light whenever it will be felt to them because basically they were absorbed by the light that means all five senses have been accumulated within that light all five senses have been accumulated in that light the moment they were absorbed and how long they were absorbed because the other thing is that we will talk in the next week logs in the coming week logs is that what is the phase of time between here and there nobody knows exactly it's not written in any books as well but there is a difference they will basically go crazy in simple words they will lose their senses my grandfather basically he was absorbed and he lost his senses as my father's words used to say abba pagal ho gaye the that's it very simple words and there's no good or bad about it or maybe being uh, sad about it or proud about it but this is how it is within our family it varies to family to family as well how people perceive things my father he had seen the light he had seen the light he didn't allow himself to be absorbed he didn't allow himself to be absorbed by the light now this is another question how can you stop yourself from being absorbed from that light because it's basically it's divine light is divinity how can you stop it but there are ways there are ways one learn thing one as a human being a lot of people learn things you learn things and then you basically uh, observe from other people's actions so you learn things my father knew the art of where to stop he knew the art of where to stop unki na mere wale sahab kehte the hamari na arbon wali hai arbon wali na kehte the these was his words hamari na arbon wali hai and uh, i cannot give a example over here but uh, my father he did not allow himself to be absorbed but he saw the light he felt the light he did everything that could be done from that light in this place he did that but he did not allow himself to be absorbed he basically carried his journey from one sheikh to another just to avoid that being absorbed he knew the path he knew the way and he had the will to do so now if you talk about me I'll, i was born in the 19, end of 19th century i have not seen the light so there's no point of me saying i've been absorbed no but one thing is for sure i have seen the brightness i know the light by just seeing its brightness and i hope for me that is as far as i go because this light varies on person to person on belief to belief and religion to religion as i said earlier and on your how you are what is in your uh, in in our language it could be said that tabiyat uh, के ऊपर भी डिपेंड करता है ऑफ हाउ यू आर बेसिकली ट्राइंग टू डू थिंग्स यानी कि हाउ यू लिव अ लाइफ नाउ इन दीज डेज लाइफ इज फास्ट इन द मिड नाइनटीन सेंचुरी नो फोन्स दे वॉज एंट इवन अ लैंड लाइन नाउ कनेक्टिविटी इज ईजी बट द वन थिंग इज दैट द कनेक्टिविटी हैज इनक्रीज the connectivity has increased the knowledge of books is everywhere 
everyone is talking about books everyone is talking about everything you truly ask but one thing they have lost what about the connectivity to the gods according to their religion i talk about all religions because the thing is that as i have said earlier that everyone has his own god you can make your laptop your god the connectivity has gone the connectivity the the will of being connected that has diminished that has diminished it's not because we don't want to because we are tied up in this box the box we are tied up in this box now coming back to the subject the light once it's felt it has its own effect i've given a prime example from my own family i'm not talking about anyone else but my own family for this you don't need to sleep for this light you don't need to close your eyes for this light you can be awake or for this light to be seen you could be dead when the light wants itself to overpower overcome and for you to see it believe me it can be seen in any condition because as i said as i said in my vlog 1 that every light is created from a dot every light is created from a dot and it all depends who's that dot who's that dot and the other thing is which uh, i would like to finish the video and uh, leave it as a question for everyone and for the next videos that are coming is that if if the gods according to any religion as i say i open i'm i'm talking about all religions not one religion i'm talking about divinity and divinity cannot be tied to any religion it is on your belief and on your divine perception which you gain after basically seeing the divine light the thing is one can carry on miles walking one can carry on miles running one can carry on miles in the car maybe in the truck in the bus or whatever transportation they want you will end up where you started from you will end up where you started from as people as humans we can only see what we learn if we know something we will see it if we don't know about it we won't even look at it we will see it and maybe we find that uh, curiosity the curiosity the justus and uh, we will do some research or maybe try to feel it according to our senses and use whatever capacity mental capacity we have but one thing is that gods we cannot put them in this as a perception go okay, okay he's like this he's like that or maybe this is what he wants this is what he wants this is what he doesn't want but the main thing here is that what you got it he has written everything in his scriptures and holy books that whatever came and through the prophets and so on how come how come the source i basically talk about the god the gods or maybe whoever who believes in the gods the source has generated himself as a dot or a light for the mystics for the sages for the sufis to see why is that so 
what did he need to do that he could have generated it in a sound isn't it or maybe some object or something that we don't know there are loads of things that we don't know and he could have done that but he has basically left it as a dot so one thing the question that i believe and in the vlogs you will find out later maybe in 15th or maybe the 200th or maybe 10th or maybe the one after this how come the dot is separated from the holiness himself how come the dot has separated from the holiness himself now we can just i'm just giving one example then i will close it here that maybe he's done it so we can understand that the dot basically generates light because every light is generated through a dot spark so that's why he's left it but he could have used another mean that which was beyond our understanding because even after seeing the light and understanding the light still we struggle still we struggle to achieve something from the dot through that light i will close it here and thank you very much for watching divine knowledge and make sure everyone shares this link accord if they can uh, basically take out the time and do so and uh, i would leave it here and see you all hopefully in my next vlog thank you very much bye bye you are watching divine knowledge